Who's doing the intro? It's not I, me. I don't know. I don't, I don't think. Chris. All right, no, today do we're do doing. Shut up. We're doing. Chris. Hello. Hey, what's up? You, you, wait, you're doing Chris? Shut up. Yeah, he's actually <laughs> railing me right now. Yeah, he's Baby. Chris. What? Hello. Hi. I'm Bradley. obviously the top. Bradley. What's up? There you go. Yeah. That a boy. Myself. Hello, me. I am me. Hello. And then our special lady guest. Not lady. But Rose. Hello, Rose. Hello. This is the worst uh, intro I've ever heard. Is it is enthusiastic. This is the worst intro ever. All right, welcome to episode 13. Jesus Christ. Come, to, come your hype. Okay. Oh, we're gonna... 13? Yeah, yeah we're 13. 13. 13 well, was a shitty podcast, yeah. 13 weeks of this, my God. We've been at it this I know, for 13 right? weeks already. <laughs> and we have like almost 50 views on one video. <laughs> where, Ooh, where, where will our friendship be at 365? Um, I still say room. we'll have 50 views on at least one video by that point. You said 305. <laughs> Again, hopefully That's... we'll be in one room. Ho- hopefully we'll all be together for 365. Or 305. Together. Miami. Hopefully. I'm sure yeah, we'll. Our, our, gonna... our, our, Miami, uh, our Miami episode 305. Yeah. <laughs> we now know. Yeah, we got that panned out. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it our goal to at least be there by episode 69. Oh, there you go. He has to be here for 15 minutes. There you go. We'll have an so, I just did something really stupid. All right, Chris, tell us your story about 15 just... minutes ago. Yeah, so uh, I got hungry, and I wanted to eat some cereal, and I may or may not have just filled an entire box of cereal onto my floor. <laughs> oh. Okay, so <laughs> let me just set this up. Okay, so I have food in my room, and um, just because I don't – Yeah, because I don't want anyone else eating my food. I feel He's my like man. Because okay. I'm just – yeah, I'm just selfish that way. So I'm not, I'm not just, about to do that. My mom gets mad at me. That's what happens. You live in your own place. Yeah, now, but when I lived with my mom, she wouldn't let me. Just don't let you her find wanna, out. You guys want us to leave so you can talk about it? No, nah, it's fine. I try to get a mini fridge when I live with my parents. That too. They said no, because then I would stay in my room all day. Exactly. Yeah, That's my mom's excuse too. They yes. would never see me. I had, uh, a, I had yeah. a Christmas that had a mini fridge and just a microwave. Like, just give me those two things and I'm good. Oh my god. Alright, Chris, you're sorry. sorry. Yeah, so I, I don't pretty much I pretty much don't leave my room because of that reason. And they don't really stop me. So hey. Um so to, in order to keep bugs from going into like, you know, my food or whatever, at least for my boxes of cereal, I would like I would close the bag, close the box, flip it over, put it into a plastic bag. Okay? God, damn. All right. That's All right. so extra. Like, I know that makes sense. So <laughs> keep the bugs out. You don't want roaches. You don't want roaches in your cereal. Or I don't want more roaches in my cereal. Your cereal in a Ziploc bag, or or I'm an too, amazing jar. I'm too poor for that. Anyway, that's true. All right. I'm too poor for that. that that's rich people stuff. Ziploc bags. It's not that expensive. Shut up. This is my story. Anyway, right. so <laughs> don't tell me how to live life. Anyway, so yeah, don't tell me how to live my life. Anyway, so um. For whatever reason, I completely forget that like I opened this box of cereal already, and I forget my process. So I open up the the bag, and I'm like, oh wait, I didn't open this box yet. So I open it from that end, open it up, open the plastic bag from that end, and then as I begin to pour my cereal, it pours out from the bottom and just spills everywhere on my floor. Oh my god, Chris! And I, I'm just sitting there, just like, god damn it! But at least I got some in my bowl, so I let it eat. Are you like watching it as you're pouring it and wondering like why it's going the opposite direction? No, it was like it was like a waterfall, so it happened immediately, <laughs> and it was pretty much like eighty percent of a bag, so it was just all over my floor. But I got some in a bowl, so I still could eat. And, and... you're our smart one. Right, <laughs> he's up. the smartest one so out I of s- all of us. <laughs> so he's the like one that actually has just... a degree out of all of us. Yeah, right. He's the one that has actually gone to college. It's a music degree. It's not like I, I might as well not. A degree is a degree. I have a degree. Did you, oh really? You did? You graduated? Congratulations! I graduated from my AA. I'm getting my my BS in. Okay, so yeah, now Rose is now the smarter one. Well, Rose is the smartest one out of all of us at the current at the moment. To be fair, like her her degree was chemistry, so her yeah, degree was already me. infinitely like better than my degree. <laughs> I'm from music. Damn. Right. I'm getting I'm getting an economics degree. We just laugh. Degree. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm a freaking idiot. I uh, I gotta buy a new box of cereal now. Nice. nice. What and, kind of cereal was it? Uh, it was Raisin Bran because I'm old. Ew. <sighs> you are old. Fuck. What an old man. I am old. Not even. I not, know, but dude, just honey bunches of oats. Why would you do that? 
Because I like Raisin Bran. <sighs> you, you'll understand when you're my age. I would no, eat my raisin, raisins <laughs> taste like shit. I would do Wheaties over that. Damn. <laughs> nah, I don't so like Wheaties either. You get yourself some Wheaties and put some sugar in there. That's you got Frosted size. Flakes. No, it's not Frosted the flakes. same. There you go. Sugar and and coated sugar are taste totally different from one another. That Let's is very true. Let them fight it out. I'm nah, just but saying. but again, honey bunches of oats with uh, Fruit Loops or cinnamon toast crunch, and that shit's great. Yeah, but that's three cereals mixed in one. That's I said yeah. or, so that's two cereals. Okay, I yeah, mean, no, you, you, if you do no, all, you, you would do that. I've mixed, I've mixed like five or six different cereals before, but I've also had a bowl that was like the size of two fish bowls. Yeah, because you're a bottomless pit. Yeah, he is. dude, we went to uh, we went to lunch today. And he, we went to, we went to Hop Dotties, which is like a burger bar. It's the, really good. The hot man, dotties? yeah, Hop Dotties. Hop like, Dotties. Oh, I thought you said Hot Thotties. No, I was like, what? I would go to that bar. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got, um, we got like fries that you could like share. So it's like a giant bowl of fries. We got two like of those, fries? and like three burgers or something. Two burgers, two big bowls of fries, and then you had some coke, and I had uh, an alcoholic milkshake and. Some cor- coronita margarita. margarita shit that tasted not great because of the corona. I have like, questions. It doesn't yeah. even sound good. It's basically it's questions. like a margarita that had a small corona bottle in it, and it's like almost half the size of a fishbowl. And I had that, and the milkshake was that same size. And I drank oh my gosh, I'm gonna well. I'm gonna show you guys the menu of the of the alcoholic. Milk. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right, question one. What's up? Aren't all fries shareable? No, like this is you like know the you know those tin okay. bowls that you see people on TV when they're cooking fries like a big batch when they're tossing them in there. Yeah. They yeah. that's what they brought it out in. We had two of those, and I ate most okay. of them. One was chili fries. The other one was uh. <coughs> it was the cheese truffles. Truffle fries. fries. That's what yeah. it was. Truffle fries. Okay. Uh, and then, two. Yes. Yeah. How, how do you? How does one make a milkshake alcoholic? It, that's alcohol. what I want. You add alcohol to it and you mix it really well. Yeah, but what alcohol? It, the it one depends. that I had was Kahlua. There was another one that had a uh, black spiced rum, and you can also like mix and match them. But this is like the one that's recommended for it. Those yeah. one that had like whiskey. Mario. Mario got a cookies and cream one, and it comes with Kahlua. Oh, I see now. Okay, so the cookies and cream comes with Kahlua. Nutella yeah. comes with. You could you Mount could put Gay. in you could put in any type of alcohol you want that they have in the bar. <laughs> but that's the recommended <laughs> one. <laughs> this freaking thing is called yeah. Mount Gay. Yeah. Mount Gay, yeah. It's really dude, we went to Voodoo Donuts and they have a donut called Cock and Balls and Gay Bar. I think it was the what Yeah, the Gay think... Bar the Gay Bar has fruit loops like all like a colorful rainbow. It's really good. The fruit <laughs> that one's really good. The gay bar? The gay yeah, bar's gay really good. good. Alright then. Yeah, uh, great dude, names. Great, great names. Yeah, I guess. Alright then. So that was interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um Well, since we have a new guest here, I guess we can introduce her a little bit more. Like so uh, talk about yourself, Rose. Uh, I'm Rose. <laughs> On the great. spot now, huh? All right, great. All right, yeah, we're Rose. Woo! Good talk, good talk, good talk. Good talk. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is Rose. She's smarter than all of us. Rose is smarter than all yeah. of us. I'm just getting a degree in chemistry. Yeah, so you're smarter, smarter than, than all of us. us. Oh, my yes. gosh. Freaking, uh, like, I... I passed math by like cheating the system. I didn't actually learn anything. Oh, I'm actually good oh, at math. I I failed math, but technically I had the grades to pass it. But they failed me because I didn't realize I had to sign in for the labs. I I can tell you, you know, how I, I passed math. Any of those at Miami Dade? I'm sorry. I can tell you how I passed math in college. Mm-hmm. Uh, the teacher on my so I took this teacher twice because he was easy because he just gave me a free A. So the first time I took it, <laughs> he was like. I think like halfway into the semester, the you know, the way that he graded was purely on tests. So like I suck at math, so I was failing. But um, I think like halfway through the semester, he was just like, "If you guys just show up every day, I'll give you an A at the end." So that's how I passed that math class. That way. I mean, shit. Yeah, he was just like, "Yeah, if you show up every day, like literally, don't skip my class once, I will give you an A." So that's how I passed that math class. Perfect attendance. <laughs> And then the second math class, I passed because the guy literally felt sorry for me. And he goes, I see you taking notes every day and stuff like that. I'm just going to give you an A guy. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> that works. I wish so I was that nice. I passed both of my prerequisite math classes that way. I'm just, I'm just good at math. <laughs> my teacher wouldn't fucking curve the hours to get my like 30 or whatever hours it was. I was missing two hours, but I did a lot more 
I just didn't realize that the sign was like, alright, cool. In the last two weeks of class, I needed like do 30 hours in the lab. And I hit like 28 or 27 because they gave me some back, but they couldn't give me all mm-hmm. of them back. I'm so, I'm, I'm so good at math that when I took my SAT for the, um, my first try, I got an almost perfect math score. I'm well, just, fuck you. I'm just what? not sure that. <laughs> what was your math score? I don't remember what it, was, it what was it? I did have like, I don't, I don't remember. I, I don't remember. took an SAT. Well, I did take SAT. I don't remember, I don't remember how the, the scoring system for the SAT was, but like, it was like, it was like practically almost perfect. Like, I was off like, by what, like, like Maybe 20 no. points or something like that. Damn, shady. And then you went to school for like a semester. Yeah, I went to school for like two semesters and I was like, I'm out. Awesome. Said, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> that was me. Okay. Uh, Wait, I'm not done. I, I, I was <laughs> letting you continue. All right. So, I'm a short girl. You know what I'm saying? Um, she, she's quite short. I'm Dominican. <laughs> you know, bachata is life. Just kidding. Um, Bachata yeah. is like what you talking about? Bachata shit. <gasps> Yo, yeah, you just I mad because you don't got the moves. No, actually I do. I was taught how to dance bachata. I don't like bachata. I don't like the music. Get out. No. Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking take the honey buns out of you. Bradley, what are they talking oh, about? Pick them up. I, I, I don't do you know. like salsa? I huh? I don't not really. Oh, I'm, not, dude, I'm not fan of Spanish music he in general. He doesn't like dancing. I don't like dancing, but I don't like Spanish music in general. I like salsa on my chips. So your opinion kind of just doesn't matter. That yeah, that's fine. Like it's just uh, too much Spanish music is just very. I feel I much cheese more coming off of it, and it annoys me. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to do with this. Okay. Can you define machismo for our so, non-Spanish viewers? So please? Uh, have if you listen to? Fuckboy. Ah, yeah, just stereotypical fuckboy, but in Spanish, and they imagine imagine a college frat, a stereotypical college frat, but being in Spanish. I'll and extremely heard. fuckboy. That's basically what I consider machismo, and that's a fairly decent portion of Miami. Is that like a Miami thing? That's uh, very much so. It's a Hispanic thing. Machismo, it's, it's just a Hispanic it's a, it's a thing. Spanish, it's a Hispanic thing. Well, I never heard of that. Oh. Have you never heard of machismo? She lived in Orlando for a while. Yeah, yeah. You're up north for a while. So she lives in Orlando with the white people. Yeah. She yeah. lived. Yeah, she lived, yeah she lives with the white people. She don't know nothing about that. White people? Get out of here. You know... And it's not Orlando. It was Kissimmee, mind you. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. is you went to Kissimmee, Puerto bro. That's Rican, hella Mexican. Dominicans, <laughs> Colombians. Last time I was in Kissimmee, it was hella Mexican. Peruvians. You got a lot I of feel, I feel like just northern <laughs> Florida, they're yeah. a lot nicer. They're like more. They're more like, all right, we're more white Hispanic rather than full on. We're not from even. our country Hispanic. I, that's, I'm saying that's, that's why I feel compared to Miami. I felt it's always been that way. No, just how obnoxious the Cubans are down here is the same for the Dominicans and Puerto Ricans up there. That's I wonder how many more race man. names we can yell before YouTube like thinks this is racist. Oh, dude! Apparently, I found out that YouTube apparently considers a bleep as a curse. Yeah, oh they God. do. You can't use bleeps anymore. Yeah, so you can do a stare to guys. We need to come up with a noise then. Oh, I can do that. Oh my God. Uh, make a chicken noise. Ah! Oh God, no. There you go. Just cut that audio out and just replace it every time now. Just replace it every I don't time. know what, what what whatever sound that was before, but that was not a chicken. That was yeah, whatever. That was well, that's that's unique, chicken. That's all you need. Since we're talking about uh uh stuff, shit. <laughs> what was that <laughs> sound? <laughs> that was that was his uh text ringtone. Oh okay. Let me silence my phone. Uh, did you guys hear about uh what Tumblr did? What oh, about how like it has no more porn? Oh, no, no more porn. Yeah. Oh, that's Tumblr's gonna go downhill now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So now Tumblr doesn't exist, guys. Basically. Bro, I was like, you, I was like, let me tell the... you how. I have a funny story about Tumblr. I went on Tumblr. All oh, the hentai's gone. <laughs> I went on Tumblr for the first does time. Count, wait, does that count? Wait, does that count porn or is that art? I went to. I went. No. Yes. It's, it's porn. Oh, it should be art. I went to. Both. I went to Tumblr for the first time in like what, like two years, and I was, mm-hmm. I was just like scrolling through like my dashboard, and I was like, da 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 da, whatever, and. It, I just went from like normal like posts and it went straight into some girls like fucking her dog. Okay. So is that what you follow? Uh, like I I don't know what the fuck that came from, but the Who girls. Who do you follow? I bro, I don't fucking remember. I shit got fucking weird. I was like, I'm out of Tumblr. I'm done. <laughs> Delete accounts. Uninstall. Uninstall. I still don't know how to use Tumblr to this day. I, I don't, don't know, know how. I don't know if I'm Tumblr. following people or if I'm reposting people or if I'm liking people. Like, I don't know. It's confusing. Yes. The answer is just yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> to all of it. It's, just a, it's, yes. a, it's an all the above button. That's it. <laughs> There's no in between. 
Um, yeah, so I guess Tumblr's gone. Tum Tumblr's no matter what, no matter what they say, Tumblr's Tumblr gone now. Tumblr has There's died. no more NSW. It's NSFW. This is it. No, no safe for work. Oh, oh no, that yeah. still exists. Yeah. It's just not on Tumblr. Yeah, no more. Yeah. Tumblr. I, think, I think Apple also took Tumblr off the App Store because of that. Really? Uh, from from what I heard, that's one of the reasons why they're starting to remove it because like big companies are removing the apps. Yeah. Like Pornhub an app? Yeah, but Pornhub. Has an app. Yeah, but it's Pornhub. Everyone knows what it is. I it's figured a that'd name. Be the same level as yeah, Tumblr. Yeah, you can I find porn just as Tumblr. Easy. Tumblr. No one really knows what that is. It's just it, it's that's just, just the name. It's it's a misspelled. It's the misspelled word Tumblr. All you yeah. got, all I got, all I got to do is add a porn to their description of what the app has, and that's it. You got... I mean, now they're running to Twitter. Uh, let's see how long that lasts. The porn on the porn, the porn can't be on Twitter. Uh, you can. Yes, you can. I have not seen porn on Twitter. Uh, I mean, not... very well. Well, you they, can. That's true. It depends. You, some portions on Twitter they put their stuff up. Okay. Yeah, you have to like you. Have, you pretty much have to follow them, I guess. To see it, but you, I've you seen have, it. You have to like look it like up. Like private accounts, a uh, private account no, no, makes it's, sense. It's not your private no, account. No, no, no. Like, cool. You can, you I want to find this porn star. Porn. All right, cool. And that porn star will, like have pictures of them or people tweeting them, uh, pictures yeah. of the porn. So if you want to like look that up, we're gonna look. Well, I'm gonna, hold on. Keep talking, and I'm gonna look up porn on Twitter. I'm gonna see how this. Goes. I, here, I got. I can find you one. Really I got fast. it. I got right. it. <laughs> here, I know. I know a name. This is literally what we talk about. I can't believe Rose is here. This just in. New information has been revealed about Tumblr. Okay. Reason why it was moved from the App Store, along with porn, is because it was child porn. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, it gets pretty fucking gross. I'm so, I'm so I mean, you porn. look, you scrolled like a page and found bestiality. So. I know there was a girl fucking her dog. It was the weirdest fucking shit I've ever seen. I was, I was scarred for life. I was like, I, I don't know how I feel about myself anymore. I had a girl. I mean, like, talk to me about that. It was weird. Bro, uh, like, I don't give a fuck if you're a furry and, like, you fucking fursuits. That's fine, because that's two, two consenting adults. Don't fuck a dog. The dog is not consenting to anything. The dog didn't ask for this, man. For real. <laughs> the dog didn't ask for this. <laughs> he didn't ask for it, man. Okay. He, just, he just wanted a bone. He got a boner. Anyway, so moving on from that. Fuck you guys. Fuck all of you. No uh, laughing. To, no laughing. To be fair, right. I've, like... Not not really to be fair, cause like you know, don't do don't fuck another animal. Don't fuck a dog. Or but child. I've seen dogs, female and male, just go to town. That's fine. Let them fuck. Let them fuck so, between themselves. That's fine. Like don't don't fuck a dog. They are procreating. No, but like I'd be like I would just be sitting down, and then my leg is right there, and they're like, "Hey, look, that looks like a dog or something," and they just go for it. Oh yeah, they fucking do that shit all the fucking time. Yeah, exactly. So it could have just been like this woman, just like in doggy style. And yeah, the just like hey. Now, obviously, you shouldn't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Well, no, that's out of this episode, Doggy Style and Tumblr Porn. All right. I mean, she she knows what this content is by this point. <laughs> Doggy Style and Tumblr Porn. Doggy style she and decided Tumblr. to join in on this. So that only took, like, what, 15 minutes to uh, grow someone out? Yeah, we're 18 minutes in. Just about. All right. That's, <laughs> we got to beat that record with Rob. Yeah. Oh, trust me, that will happen. Which actually, there was a funny when I went to uh, Miami recently for the wedding that lady and I went to. Uh, we Rob came over to my house, the, my or my family's house over there, and we were just talking, whatever. And we somehow got on the topic of cornflakes, and mm -hmm. he was saying how he loves cornflakes. And then I, we looked up why cornflakes were made. Do you guys know the story of why cornflakes were made? No. No. Enlighten us. Apparently, cornflakes are supposed to be the blandest of bland cereals ever. Because if you are gay or not basically a straight person in any way or a good person, a good Christian person, the mm -hmm. cornflakes are so bland, they will turn you Christian and straight. It and didn't work on me. I don't, Rob, I don't think that's working on Rob. It, does, it doesn't. Rob had a fucking field day <laughs> laughing, <laughs> laughing <laughs> so hard. He started wheezing with how... With how... I, you know, I think actually Rob has fucked more guys since eating cornflakes than I think about it. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> but that is his favorite cereal. But he was like, shit, that, that cornflakes did the opposite of me. I am gay as fuck. Yay! All right, then. Depends. But yeah, he, it was just really funny. We were talking about that and just like, cool, cornflakes. Uh, I like cornflakes. Right. Cornflakes aren't bad. They're good, great on chicken. Yeah. 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 
So you know what's also you know it's also kind of like cornflakes, raisin bran. Raisin bran tastes like shit though Ra because of raisins. Raisin bran tastes fucking terrible. <laughs> raisin bran raisins. Takes... raisins ruin it. Nah, I mean it tastes good to me. I don't know. Nah, I don't you're, like raisins. You're gross. I can eat raisin yeah. bran, but I have to put sugar on it. <laughs> so you need it? What? <laughs> I, I have like to put raisins. sugar on it. That's raisins disgusting. Unbelievable. I just hate. I just don't like raisins. Raisins taste like crap. I mean, you guys are entitled to your wrong opinion, but okay. To your wrong opinion. <laughs> oh, well, all right. <laughs> Damn. All right, so you want to go over this list of, of shit? All right, we're going we're gonna to okay, go over Okay, die hard. Let's preface this. Let's die preface hard. this. So after, after last week, we were just talking and eating shit for like 15 minutes, and we went down this rabbit hole where these guys discovered that I don't watch movies, and I have not seen a lot of very classic movies, quote-unquote, and they were just ripping me a new one. So we're going to make a list and publicly, uh, I guess, tell the world all the shit that I don't watch. And publicly it's, And I'm telling you now, it is perfectly okay to shame Chris in the comments. Oh, yeah, sir. Perfectly fine. Such. All right, go ahead. Die Hard. So, I have seen 10 minutes of the second one. Oh Wait, God. you made a list. No, I, no, I all the movies that Chris hasn't seen. No, I just, I haven't made a list, but I stopped Die Hard. Yeah, so this is this is a bunch of movies like that are classic movies that people should have seen, and I've never seen them. So let's see. Why have so you only Hard, seen ten minutes of the second movie? It was on TV once, and I'm guessing you just left it at that. And yeah, and then I was like, oh man, this is Die Hard two. Well, I'm not gonna watch this because it's Die Hard two. Why? I seen the first one. That because, makes no sense. They haven't seen the first one. They don't. It doesn't matter. Like they, they're not like overlapping story arcs. This is like cool. Yeah, I wouldn't guy. know that. I've never he seen it. You doesn't know that. That's why you fucking watch <laughs> it and find out. Continue. The Matrix. Uh, I've seen Matrix two and three. Oh my god. You haven't seen the first one. Are you fucking kidding the me? Good one. You haven't seen the good one. He hasn't seen like Wait, the first of like what? What's your opinion on Matrix two and three, Chris? Uh, it you was very confusing. The first one. Shut up. Doesn't matter. Shut up. What's it your was opinion? very confusing. Um, I was like, I think 11 when I saw the second one. I think I was like 11 or 12. Uh -huh. There was random sex in it. I remember that part. Yeah, we all. Uh, and then at some point there was like he was fighting some guy multiple times, and then there was ghosts, and then that's all I remember. All right, but what's your opinion on it? Was it good or bad? Um, or meh. I want to say meh. All right. I think for the time it was good. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say meh. Never. They were ne they were uh, never. I didn't really understand what was going on, so like I knew the references, like the pop culture references of Matrix, but like I didn't know what the hell was going on. All right. By the time I was watching it, I think uh, my pa my guardians at the time guardians. were like because I wasn't no, it wasn't my parents. I didn't live move back with my parents till I was like 14. What? Yeah, so I lived with my uncle and my step aunt for a long time. I've never known this. So where did I yeah. know Chris while doing this? Okay. Oh. All right, yeah. So they, I guess for whatever reason, they wanted to go see The Matrix 2. And they couldn't leave me and my other cousins by them by ourselves. So they took us with them. And I'm like, all right, we're well, watching this Matrix movie. I don't know what's going on. But right. uh, it was an entertaining two hours, I guess. You're like, all right. All right, then. That works. Mm -hmm. All right, next movie. Next movie. Hmm. Alien. Mulan. Mul I've seen I've seen Disney movies. Okay, You've seen, yeah. You've seen the classic Disney movies. What is that? What about yeah. the Alien movie? Alien or Predator movies? I've seen, a I've seen all the Alien movies, and I've seen all the Predator movies except for the newest one. What about Will Smith Predator. movies? Um, I've seen a bunch of them. Yeah, no, you got you got to name movies. It's a bit broad, yeah. It's a bit too broad. All right. Yeah. Um, so Men the reason uh, I've seen Men in Black one, two, and three. Yeah. Okay, I am right. Legend and I Robot. I've seen I Robot, not I Am Legend. I Legend was bad. Hancock. I liked it. I've seen Hancock. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna we're getting into classics. Casablanca. Hell no. You have not. I haven't seen it. Oh my god. You you guys haven't seen it either. No. no. The Godfather. It's such a classic movie. <laughs> I've never seen any of the Godfathers. Two thousand one <laughs> Space Odyssey. Uh, I know enough references to to pretend I've seen it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jaws. Well, now everybody knows Jaws. I've I've never seen any Jaws movies. What oh about the God. scary movies? The funny I've ones. I've seen I've seen scary movie two, three, and four. 
They're really funny. Alright, this is saying two. Okay, is that, they're, they're, that's a good one. Hmm. Uh, Vertigo? What is Vertigo? Actually, I haven't seen Vertigo either. You haven't seen Vertigo? It's a classic, people. Oh, wait, no, I have seen Vertigo. I'm looking at the cover right now. I have seen it. By Alfred Hitchcock? Oh. No. All right. No. I'm the only one that actually took a film, a, a history class. Yeah, you're a film you're person. You're a film major. I was a film major. Yeah. You're a film now she's a film dropout. All right. Metropolis. I doubt he's Metropolis. <laughs> It's so what is Metropolis? Metropolis is the beginning ah. of, the, of, the, of the sci-fi movement in film. It's a city in Superman. No. <laughs> no. That is why I used to think it was until I saw the movie, but no. Uh, look up Queen Radio Gaga, the music video. And that music okay. video is based off of Metropolis. Yeah, but uh, that's not going to make any Met- like, Metropolis, sense. It, no, no, because Metrop- Metropolis is the first sci-fi film to ever feature a utopia and to ever feature a robot, an android type of woman. It's basically the first sci- the proper first sci-fi film. It's the beginning today. of the sci-fi movement. And it's also, apparently, it's um, Hitler's favorite movie. All right, so yeah. if you watch it, you like Hitler. Got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Good movie. <laughs> also, Can't apparently, his, seen... fa- his favorite car was the Volkswagen Beetle. That was like his favorite car too. <laughs> so I mean, weird. That makes sense. It's a Volkswagen. Yeah. But it's a Beetle, I think. Um, Volkswagen. <laughs> him riding into battle in a Beetle. All right. Uh, back to the future. I've seen none of them. <gasps> oh my god. No, wait. I know, I've, right? I've seen. <laughs> I've, I've seen. I've seen the first ten minutes of Back to the Future one. All right, Mary Poppins. Uh, yes, it's a Disney movie. Right, I've right, seen right. Disney movies. Right, Dirty finish. Dancing. I don't even know what that is. You've never seen Dirty Dancing? What do you mean you don't know what Dirty <laughs> no. Dancing is? I don't know what Dirty Dancing is. Oh, my God. The, gra- <sighs> the Graduate? I don't know what that is. Oh, my God. First Mueller's, uh... Day oh, off. what's the name Ferris of the First Mueller's Day Off. Yeah. I don't know what that movie. is either. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Yeah. I'm just slowly, like, dying on the inside with every answer. <laughs> you guys are writing this down so we can force Chris to sit down and watch all these movies, right? We Try- definitely well, should. Well, it's, it's recorded, so yes. Right. He hasn't seen all the Harry Potter films. I've oh seen, I've seen up to the the fifth one. All right. Um, I'm not. I you obviously have never seen Citizen Kane. That's a for sure. Yeah. No, I don't of care. Of course not. Disappointment. The Mad Max movies. I've seen none of them. Oh my god. Have you seen Blank Man? Have you seen what? Blank Man. I don't know what that is. I what? Know. I don't Wait, even what? know what that is. Butterfly effect. It's a comedy with Martin Wayne's. I, I don't know who that is. One of the Wayne right. brothers. I know the Wayne Brothers, obviously. I don't I know who that is. Uh, white okay. chicks? White chicks? I've seen bits and pieces of white chicks. Oh my god. Mean girls. I think I've seen it. I remember <laughs> nothing about it. Oh my god. All right, all right, hold on. The Princess Diaries? I've seen parts of it. Oh my god. And I, I know enough about it where I can fake it. Chris, you do realize when you come to Austin, if uh-huh. you if Bradley and Rose don't really make you watch all these movies, you're gonna end up watching them all here and not like be allowed to leave until you Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Any Mission Impossible movie? No, none of them. Schindler's list? I can play the theme song guitar. Oh, cool. Have you have <laughs> you seen Schindler's list? Uh is that the is that the um, the Holocaust movie? It's a Holocaust the... movie with Liam Neeson. No. Filmed by Steven Spielberg. No. It's an Have you seen classic. Taken? No. You haven't seen Taken? Oh my! I haven't seen Taken. Have you I seen? I know one. Mm-hmm. I've seen a clip from Taken Three. That's it. That's not a good one. That's the first a, one's the only good terrible. one. What about? <laughs> no. What about any Bruce Lee movie? No, he, Wait one sec, one sec. So the clip, the as a it, film, it's with as the, a, 16, as, the sixteen shots. <laughs> Uh, of the fence jumping. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Liam Neeson's getting old. Okay, they got it. it's bad. We no, I think I think that was just. We don't talk about. I think that was just. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, we're talking over each other. Okay. Um. Yeah. Next person. Oh. All right. Um, next movie. Pulp Fiction. Nope. Oh my god. Training day. <laughs> Did someone just drop something out of shock? Yeah, that would be really good, I think. <laughs> I wait. Uh, for Pulp Fiction, I I think I've seen a clip with Samuel Jackson. That's a right. clip? Have you seen anything Quentin Tarantino? Uh, no. Oh my god. <sighs> name wait, name some movies. Django Unchained, uh, Death Proof, 
Um, Dust Till Dawn. Dust Till Dawn. No, I'm just like knowing all of those. The Inglorious Bastards. Know. Kill Bill. No. No. Oh, my God. You haven't Chris. seen Kill Bill? <laughs> no, I haven't. Chris, I want you to dress up as the the master in Kill Bill one day. <laughs> You think I mean, I gotta watch Asian the movie movie. first so I can get the reference. It's okay. any stereo- It's like a stereotypical Asian guy, like old man that has like the super long mustache and beard, and it's like super thin. Uh, okay. Have you seen any Bruce Lee movie like Enter the Dragon or sorry, Return? Of- Is it Enter the Dragon or Return of the Dragon? Return of the Dragon. It's one of those three. Um, I've seen. I haven't seen a movie. I've seen clips of him on YouTube. Have you seen Logan? I'm gonna skip that. You haven't seen Logan? No, I haven't. No. Oh my that was god. Really, that was it a really was good so movie. so good. I don't care. I didn't care about the X-Men movies at all. No, trust me. Forget about the X-Men movies. Logan's in a separate thing. It like, was its own thing. It was I didn't really care good. enough. Yeah. All right. I'm going to uh, be honest. I didn't care enough because I like, like, I understand. I know, like, the inspirations that it comes from. And I like that more than the concept of the movie. So I just didn't care. Have what you- about the transporter? Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. You don't know what's in the transporter? <laughs> Would you hit Statham? No. Jason Statham. What's what's that movie, the the one with J- Jason Bourne, uh, The Bourne Identity? The I've never seen any of them. <sighs> yeah, me either. Have you seen anything <sighs> Guillermo del Toro? You don't even know. Uh, you gotta, no. you gotta say... No, she oh, said no, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I heard Guillermo del Toro. Uh, no, you gotta name movies. I don't know. Night Before Christmas. That's Tim Burton. Yes. Oh wait, that's true. That's Tim Burton. First off, <laughs> that's true. I don't know. Hellboy. My bad. There you go. Uh, I've seen it. I don't remember anything about it. Oh my god. Pan's Labyrinth. Nope. The Shape of Water. No. Nope. Does animated Does animated films count? Yes. If they're Quentin Tarantino, yeah. yeah. But Pacific Rim. God damn it, the wrong nope. person again. Uh, um, Spirited Away. Uh, I mean that's an anime, yeah. No. Oh. But it's a movie. oh, of course, yeah, yeah, perfect. Chris. You're a whore. What? You're a whore. <laughs> I mean, you want to keep going? Well, no, don't worry. They didn't are like looking up IMDb and a bunch of. Di- we have. I got like, like three five- different like <laughs> like links with like top. We have different tabs open. The Shawshank Redemptions. The, what? The Shawshank I've, Redemptions. Um, no, I've never seen those. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, obviously, he's seen. Obviously, he's seen Star Wars. Yeah. What about the Batman movies? The like the Dark Knight. Indiana Jones. I've seen Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. All right. Um, I've seen the terrible Batman nipples movie. <laughs> oh, we've all Wait, seen that. Wait, what one. was that one? That was a Batman Returns that was George or uh, no? That's the one with, which, which the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. as as yeah, yeah, Mister yeah. Freeze. I know that, but I remember the name the name of the movie. It was uh, a Batman. Think, Batman Forever. No, no, Forever? no. Batman Forever is the one with uh, Jim Carrey and Two Face. It's Two Face and the Riddler for Batman Forever. Okay. I actually, seen I actually really like clips of that movie. Oh uh, wait, what I've seen clips of that movie. Oh. Fight Club. Spy Club. Fight, Fight Club. Oh, Fight Club. The no, Batman. but I know the I know the twist at the end, so I didn't oh. care. Indiana, Indiana Jones. Wait, what was that? Indiana Batman? Jones. I think so. Uh, you're gonna hate me, but I've only seen Crystal Skull. <laughs> I actually didn't hate it that much. I I did, it wasn't my favorite, but I didn't think it was as bad as most people make it out to be. Lord of the Rings. I just watched. I watched it with a bunch of friends, and I'm just like, yeah, we'll, I don't we'll understand. Watch the other ones. I love the other ones. Mm. Freddy, what was the one that you said? What about Pirates of the Caribbean? I've right. seen all of them except for the newest one. It's on Netflix. It was actually it's really good. Bad. It was actually really good. It was really sad at the beginning. It, w- it was sad at the beginning part. It's like, oh my god, what has happened? I know. It's so sad. But then it gets good. What about what about what about Ghostbusters? Um, I've seen oh, clips of the first one. The Grimblins. You mean the so Gremlins? Gremlins, you know what I mean. The Gremlins? <laughs> I, the Gremlins. I know enough to fake it. I want a Gremlin shirt. All right. But Lord I've of the Rings? Never... I've seen all of them. All right, all right. What, a, what about Gladiator? Uh, I've seen clips of it. The three I hundred... might... Wait, wait. I might have seen the entire thing, but I only remember parts of it. Okay. 300, I've seen the first one. What about Troy? I've seen Troy. The Shining? All right. The Shining, hmm. the horror movie, The Shining. Yeah, mm, I've seen like I've seen a clip of it. That's the about classic it. Classic by Stanley Kubrick. But come on, people. I don't. Well, I don't watch horror movies. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Um, Apocalypse yeah. Now. Uh, no. I know references. You know references. Inception. 
Uh, no, I've never seen Inception. Oh my god, Titanic. Yeah, Inception is super trippy. I've seen, I've seen clips of Titanic. I've never seen the Wolf whole of thing. Wall Street. Seven. Oh, actually, it's Wolf is good. All right, stop. Okay, wait. Okay, so I've seen clips of Titanic. Um, Wolf of Wall Street. I've seen clips, and what's the other one? Seven. Don't even know what the hell that is. It's it's with uh Morgan Freeman. It's like a guy it. who's basically kidding a bunch of people and that represents no. the seven deadly sins. Nope. Speaking of Morgan Freeman, I just say Jaws. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Nope. Have you no, seen Have you seen Bruce Almighty? Yes, I have. I love that movie. Evan Almighty. All right. Jurassic I've Park? unfortunately seen Evan Almighty. <laughs> it's not as good. <laughs> Jurassic Park? Uh, I've seen all of them except for the two new ones. That's uh, Jurassic World only had like one or two scenes that could have been left out. Mm-hmm. And then the new one I haven't seen either. But the, the I rem- one's okay. It's pretty I've good. seen them all. I, I remember clips of the first one and the third one. I don't remember the second one at all. I wish we record, like, had video recording of this because Lady just slapped the <laughs> shit out of the thing that was uh, that's holding our mic, and it just spun around in place, and we're just like staring at it for a second, like, oh. Am, <laughs> am I making her that mad? No, no, she <laughs> maybe. I'm about to flip a fucking table. <laughs> I was, I was like, what the fuck? All right, uh, Rocky. Uh, I. I don't I know I've never seen it. Oh I do know th- references. Do you think because I can play Eye of the Tiger on guitar? <laughs> <laughs> I have a funny story about Eye of the Tiger. I thought you Oh yeah, I, I know this story. <laughs> do you? Is it the blowjob one? Yes it is. <laughs> okay. Uh so I had a friend who who would sometimes when she was like, Alright, I wanna give a blowjob, it's gonna be a good ass blowjob, she would play Eye of the Tiger. And go to the beat of Eye of the Tiger. Oh my god. So <laughs> she would bob her head like da 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 Oh my god. And it, and then like, if it's the long one, she's like just keep it like keep it in for oh. a while. And it's like this, this. <laughs> You don't know the story? I don't know the story. She told me this with the most serious face ever. Like it was not I, a joke. I would have lost it. It was so funny. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. And she's like, why are you laughing? I'm being really serious right now. I was like, that's why. It's so stupid and funny. It's dumb. Oh, it was great. That's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Oh. All right. What else? Clockwork Orange? Uh, no. It's a weird-ass movie. Yeah. Have you seen Click? Can we see what? Click? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a, Adam Sandler. It's a sad Adam, Adam Sandler movie. movie. It was not. It was a nice oh, comedy. It was, oh, probably, it was probably one of his best. It was, but it wasn't yeah. a comedy for sure. Oh, you guys said click, right? Was like yeah, click, yeah, yeah, click. Yeah. Oh. What did you think I said? Uh, I heard quick. I'm like, what the hell is quick? Oh, I heard clit. <laughs> I, I don't know what movie clit is, but sounds, mm-hmm. sounds rated R. <laughs> what about the pacifier? Uh, it's very important. No. Oh, it's, no. It's, it's a good Daddy movie. daycare. I've seen clips. Oh my god. Oh my god. E.T.? Uh, no, I've never seen E.T. Actually, what? I, what? How have you never seen E.T.? <laughs> I've never seen E.T. It's I don't a weird know. movie. Everybody <laughs> sees that shit before they even turn 10. Well, yes. not in my family. Oh my god. Okay, they show it at school all the time. They do. Actually, they show no, I never saw it. Have you seen The Wizard of Oz? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Thank Christ. <laughs> I've seen the Wizard of Oz. I was about to lose my shit. Have you seen, have you seen the SpongeBob movie? Yes, I have. Okay. Both of them. I've seen the first one, the relevant one. The second one actually wasn't bad. It was okay, but funny. the first one, well, nothing first, will ever top it. The, no, it definitely didn't top it. But the second one did. I would say, it would it would go just below par. It was mm-hmm. really close to no. it, not passing it though. I've seen the first one multiple times. It's it's one of my favorite movies. It's a great. Yeah. Movie. Blade Runner? Have you seen, have you seen uh, Shrek? I've never seen Blade Runner. I've seen the first Shrek. Yeah. I wonder if Shrek. He got the good I one. Would, yeah, well, I would actually, never watch Blade Runner. I will Pride say the movies. second one was actually not that bad. Uh, West Smash Mouth, which is the good one. You should know. Uh, yeah, which is the one have, you seen, have you seen Smash Mouth's Twitter? Not recently, but the last time I it's, saw something, it was uh, basically some fans wearing a Shrek mask and calling yeah, them. Uh, a they meme and they hate. They absolutely hate that they're that they are related to Shrek in any way. 
And their Twitter is pretty much them, like at least probably like two or three years ago, which is them just yelling at other people about how they were relevant before Shrek. And it's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> See, I think Shrek. I think they got over that because it was I think it was like last year, early or late last year, where something they like were... that. They just they just yell at people and just argue about how they were relevant before Shrek. No, no, no but they did. They basically a bunch of their fans went to one of their concerts and they were front row. And mm-hmm. the, Smash Mouth took a picture of it and posted it, saying that like, we have the best fans in the world. And it's a bunch of like five or six people with Shrek masks on their face. And someone wrote like, like, like you guys are you guys are nothing but like a meme at this point. It's like, hey, you gotta be good at something, right? <laughs> I guess. And they, I guess at this yeah. point they're embracing it. Yeah, finally. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta embrace that shit. Somebody wants to. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I. That's basically like the only song everybody knows about from them. Yeah, same. That's what Adam Sandler. What? What? Fifty Fifty First Dates. Oh, that's a oh, Fifty First Dates. Oh. Never seen it. Forty Year Old Virgin. I've seen that. Okay. Right. Scarface. Ah uh, no, of course not. Ugh. Have you seen There's Something About Mary? I don't know what the hell that is. Oh my god. Four. What? <laughs> you're just you're just you're just a cunt whore with this. Okay, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I won't disagree. <laughs> Lizzie McGuire movie? Why would I watch that? <laughs> it's a fucking classic. Uh, is oh, it though? Oh, yeah. Maybe. The same thing with the Halloween Town <laughs> movies. Have you seen Halloween Town? <laughs> I've seen Halloween Town. All right, did, all right. did you guys know that on the Disney Channel, uh, during I think it was all of October, at least a week of Halloween, on the Disney Channel YouTube channel, they just had mm-hmm. a nonstop loop of Halloween Town of Fuck all yeah. movies. I've That's seen, I've classic. seen. There's what three of them? I've, I've I think seen all of them. There's, there's, there's four? no, there's four. There's four. Okay, then yeah. Okay, I've seen three of them. The last there's one was kind of whatever because they didn't, they oh, didn't weird. have the actual main actress. They yeah, kicked they her off. <laughs> Weird. Say what? They didn't have Marnie. I think the the girl's name. Uh, yeah. Like they I had mean, they I... had another actress play her because the original actress like they kicked her off the set for something that yeah. happened. I don't remember what it was. Mister and Mister Smith. No. Nah. Damn, Danny. Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting. No. The Hills Have Eyes. I don't watch horror movies. Oh. Slumdog Millionaire. Uh no. Final Destination. I don't watch horror movies. Any Monty Python. I mean, like horror. I've seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Nice. Thank you. Yes. Okay, awesome. Love that movie. I love that movie too. Oh, that's a horror movie. <laughs> the Sixth Sense. Movie. Uh, I never seen it, but it's been spoiled so many times that I know what it is. I know. I know yeah, how the movie goes. Bradley Rose, are you guys? Do you guys also have like a bunch of tabs open with movies? No, no, we're just making, we're just like, just calling names out. Oh, okay, because they had just like a bunch of tabs open. No, <laughs> we're going off down. the dome, bro. Off the dome. Inglorious Bastards? Nah. Ugh. Quick question, how long is this segment going to go? It's going to go on. For uh, it's gonna I don't know. 43 minutes already. Who cares? It's going to keep going. <laughs> this whole episode. Yeah. This whole episode is just people ripping into me. You guys aren't really doing that. You're just like, just we're, having, well, I'm, you're I'm just calling you a whore, dismayed. So. Is anybody looking at the comments? Uh, I don't look at any comments, so I I have to look at the comments. They show up on my emails. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. don't. Think, I don't. I don't think she meant like comments, comments. Comments. I think she meant I like mean in the, the chat. Yeah. Oh no. Well, we're not. We're not extreming this. Yeah, it's, this it's isn't being, streamed. It's being recorded like on ladies' uh, computers. Yeah, and then oh, I it. <laughs> She's telling you guys to look in the chat. I am looking at the chat. She just said hi. I mean, I said hi. She said bruh. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see that. I think I think it was like the first one. Yeah, the first one was yeah, it was topics, but now we are like going into our topics. The main topic of this one was supposed to be this, and it's uh, going pretty well. I think. All right. I'd say so. Um, Princess Bride. Uh, we talked about this before. I've seen like clips of it. I oh I know enough. I know enough to fake it. What about Avatar? Like the Which one? James Cameron one. I've Actually, seen either that one. one. I've seen the James Cameron the one. Air, the last Airbender one. I will refuse to watch the last Airbender. That's good. good. That's fine. Yeah. Um, oh fuck! I have one. Oh, uh, have you ever seen Doctor? I think it's called Doctor Evil. 
What? You mean the Austin Powers movies? No, 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 no. Like this is uh it's Neil Patrick Harris? That's his name, right? Sure. Okay. The the guy from uh that the wears a suit. I feel like uh, I know what you're talking the, about, but I don't remember. The guy who wears a suit on uh How I Met Your Mother? That's yeah, Neil Patrick yeah, Harris. Yeah, that's right? Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, okay. He did he did uh I don't know if it's a movie or if it's a show. But it was called Doc, like Doctor Evil, and it was like a sing along. Oh. It was like an actual sing along thing. That Doctor he Horrible sing along blog. There you go. That's what it's. Doctor Horrible sing along blog. I no, I've never seen that. It is absurd. I don't even know what the hell that is. But it's okay. basically him just wanting. He's tr- he's pr- trying to be evil, but he's really bad at it, and he's trying to get with this girl while he's doing it. And then the superhero just kicks his ass out of time, and you can sing along because he does songs in it, and it's just really stupid and funny. Okay, I've never seen it, never heard of it. Yeah. Alright. Any um, James Bond movie, then? I've seen zero James Bond movies. Damn. Uh, the Truman Show? No. <laughs> never seen The Truman Show? Damn, that was, no. I'm sure it was crazy. Um, nah. Castaway. Uh, I know references. <laughs> Since we're on the topic of movies, have you guys heard of that new coming out, Battle, the uh, Alita Battle Angel? What? The what? No. Oh, the Alita Battle one that they filmed here? No, I don't know. Yet. Here? Yeah, they filmed it here. It's by Robert Rodriguez. The guy who it's owns what? the Array Network. The the director of the of the Spy Kids. I, I don't know the director of Spy Kids. The director of Spy Kids is called Robert Rodriguez. He uh, works here. Ask, he works here in Austin. Before you ask, I've seen the Spy Kids movies. Okay, All okay, right, good. Cool. I already asked you that. Last week, yeah. So. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I recently saw on the plane on the plane ride back from uh, Miami to Austin, I mm-hmm. saw uh, Monsters University. There you go. I forgot. Mario had never <laughs> seen Monsters University before. No, I've, I've seen Monsters. Monster- I've never seen it either. You never, a, it, was, it was really good. I was like, oh my god, this makes some. This makes sense for why certain really things good, are the way are. I loved it. It was really good. It was really funny and stupid. <laughs> it was great. Did you guys ever see that conspiracy video about how like the Pixar universe is linked? Yes. Yeah. I don't so, think it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I had to rewatch it again because um, I just I, that came up in conversation like I don't know like two days ago, and I was like, oh, I remember that video. What Publix Wait. first college campus school? What? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you reading, Rose? Apparently, the first what I'm. So- Oh, oh, uh, so apparently the first Publix has opened up on, um, its first college campus today at USF. Cool. Damn, they're getting pub subs, bro. They're getting, not only that, they're getting <laughs> those little boxes pub. of fried chicken. We don't have pub subs. Oh, those boxes of fried chicken. I love those. My mom bought it yesterday. And let me tell you how every one of us grabbed four pieces and left nothing for our parents. <laughs> yep. Come on. That's why, that's why my mom, like, started buying, like, two or three of them whenever she brought them home. They were just, they were just completely. I mean, the chicken's pretty good, dude. It's pretty fucking good, yeah. Yeah, sushi's good too. I never had. Oh no, I, I'm not sure if I've ever had sushi from Publix. I know I've had it from like Seven Eleven before. Well, Why yeah. would you do that? I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know until after I started eating it that I was from Seven Eleven. I was like, oh well, it's ready in me. No point in stopping now. <laughs> uh, do either of you guys have Red Dead Two by any chance? Nah, nah I don't. I don't. I'm I'm a PC gamer, so I don't have it. You know what's funny? You talk what? about Seven Eleven, and Seven Eleven here is like not as good as Seven Eleven in Japan. I can see like, that. That's random. Okay. Somehow it's I'm continue. not surprised. I feel like anything totally in Japan is different. so much better than here. I almost forgot that you went to Japan. Yeah. I, I did forget she went to Japan. I did not. Like they have like, you guys know what? Oh my fuck! Damn you! Move your foot. Don't fucking say something before you do that. Lady, lady just ran. Please, no she literally you guys ran over the party, my toes. So you guys can talk about this. She moved. She decided to like slide her chair over while I'm leaning next to her, so we can both be in the, near the mic, and ran over my foot with her rolling chair. Hey, Miami, you know Miami drivers, what can you? Do? <laughs> what can you do? I know, right there, shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, Mario, you What's recently up? sent a, a picture of gas prices. Is that the actual gas price over there? Yes. Yeah. That that was a picture from the gas station that we were going to. It was at like one ninety eight, one ninety five, one ninety five. I wish, bro. 
Yeah, it's, oh it dropped a little bit more as well in, in some places. I'm playing like $3. I paid, for I paid what? Nah. 201 the other day? Yeah. I still haven't paid gas for like in like the last two weeks. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't needed to put gas in my car. I just hit a quarter left. Oh, you live close to your, your job? No, I no, I just actually live further away than I did in um in Miami. But uh, it's still, I get there. I thought you were about to say that you quit your job. I wish, dude. Let me tell you about how I woke up the other day. I was like, do I really need this job? Yes. How it, fast will I? How fast would it take me? How long would it take me to find another job if I just stop going in? I mean, you can figure that out right now. <laughs> you know, that's what one of that's what one of the old employees did at the at the uh, at the, the Chevy Walmart. dealership. The Chevy dealership, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was, he was like, he was like, you know what? If if I just stay here, but I look for another job, I'm gonna be like, eh, I still got this place, you know. So he said, I'm gonna quit, and I'm just gonna find another job, and yeah. it worked. Yeah. I think he's in another state and he's married. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so it's better. I, I love guess. you. Damn, dude. All right. I don't have to work on Black Friday or on Thanksgiving. No, don't bring that up. That's an insult to them. No, I'm <laughs> I feel, I feel right. like a hate crime was just thrown my way. A hate crime. Mario <laughs> <laughs> said you just hate crimed him. Um, my people. Just saying. Insulting. All right, so overall, I think out of like the 50 movies you threw at me, I've seen like four of them. At best. At no, best. I've seen more than that, bro. Uh, uh, I don't know. Said more than five. I've said yes in terms of like, I've seen clips. <laughs> but now I just sat there and saw the whole movie. Yeah, I mean, like, if we count, like, trilogies, then yeah. Because you said, hey, have you seen Any yeah. Lord of the Rings? And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I've seen, like, three of them. The Hobbit? I've seen the first Hobbit. Oh, the Hobbit. Oh, the Hobbit's a segment in itself? It has more than one. Yeah, the Hobbit's three. Yeah, three. there's three movies. Yeah, There's three movies three for, like, book. a 200-page book. Yeah. yeah. They had to fit in details. I know, right? I think it was pretty good. I when the, game, when the, Hob- like when the Hobbit ended, I was like, wow, it literally looks like they are a third of the way there. <laughs> I was like, cool, Hobbit's over, awesome. Now, now, Lord of the Rings, you have some form of setup with certain things. I guess. You I mean, like... Is it lost the important character? Yes. I, I literally, like, walked away from that movie just going, all right, that was a movie. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. The first one or the, or the third one? I've only seen the first one. Oh, that's true. No, we watched the three. I I enjoy them. I enjoy the Lord of the Ring movies. I said mm-hmm. I've seen all of them in one sitting. It's just that, like, okay, so this is the reason why I don't watch movies. Okay, so uh, those classic movies. Um, my uncle never really like. He wasn't really a movie guy. So one, he didn't under he he's like he's a um an immigrant from Vietnam, so he didn't really understand like all of these movies that were coming out or anything like that. So he never introduced it to me or the other guys, like my kids' kids. Mm-hmm. So that's one. Um, two, when I'm in my house, I'm super lazy, and I don't want to go anywhere. So I've never gone to the movie theaters, really, unless like a friend makes me go. Now, uh, now what excuse is that for not watching a movie that is over 30 years old that you can just p- open on your computer and just sit there and watch it? I mean, he said, and I quote, I'm lazy. I yeah, get that I'm you lazy. have to. You're on your computer, just yeah. But hey, like when I'm back home, to the future, and then when play, I'm home, I literally just want to do the things that I want to do, and I don't really go out of my way to go. Hey, I want to watch the Matrix. You know, I don't because I just don't care. The only movies I've actually gone out and done that were like the Marvel movies, Lord of the Rings, stuff like that. Like things I actually have a nerd interest in. Which he actually would not have gone to if we didn't fucking take him out the house. Because I promise you, the motherfucker would not have gone. <laughs> Which movie? All, all the ones, all the Marvel movies and Star Wars movies that we've seen where we no, drag you out. No, I actually went and saw like you know Ant Man and Infinity War and all that by myself. I actually went and left my house to do those because like I was that invested in those. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, for Star Wars, yes, I'm. I was. Like, even if you guys didn't invite me, I was still gonna watch it because like I love Star Wars. You guys know that. Yeah, actually, because I'm already, you're... I'm already invested like freaking twenty years of my life into that. So I'm gonna keep watching it. Chris, did you hear that? Yeah. Um, I think it's rumored for next week or within mm-hmm. like the next a week or two. I think it was that the episode nine teaser is gonna come out. That's cool. Yeah. So I, I guess the moral of the story here is that like it's really hard for me to get into a new IP unless you make me. So we're gonna have to force it down his throat. Yeah. 
because like obviously Star Wars I saw as a kid, so like I have twenty or plus years of being invested into that intellectual property. So I'm gonna keep watching it. Marvel, like I read the comics and like I like the comics. So I'm gonna go watch the movies. You know? Um I think it's a little different for DC because just there's no centralized like anything for DC. They're kind of just doing their own thing, and when they try, they sucked ass at it. No, nobody Very cares about so. DC anymore. Except yeah, for Wonder so. Woman. Apparently, yeah. Wonder Woman is good. Thing. Yeah. I'm really hoping so... that Shazam Sam comes out really well. <laughs> and Aquaman, too. I'm really, I want to see Aquaman, and I'm, I'm having high hopes. Who's mm-hmm. the guy that does TNA movies? TNA movies? Know. I forgot his name. Like he, he's a he's a director, but like all his movies, T and an A. He did the Titanic and he did like. He did, wait, what? You cut out a lot there. What did you say? I said he James did the Cameron? Titanic and he did Alien, Aliens. James Cameron? James Cameron. Yeah, I think so. Did yeah, James Cameron do him. Aliens? Cameron he did do it. Aliens. I think he did Aliens. I don't. I thought it was uh. Some really, like, Scott was did really Aliens. Scott. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, he did a. No, we're talking about Aliens. Oh okay. The second movie. Was that? Is it? Oh, yeah, it well, I don't remember. Yeah, okay, no, yeah. the first one's better. Yeah. Uh, uh, I just realized it's really that all Scott's. his movies just have yeah. in it. I don't know, people haven't liked Ridley Scott's uh, last few Alien movies. I thought uh, that, I, I, really, I haven't really seen Scott it, but I've seen bits the, and pieces. Ridley Scott was at the epitome of like sci-fi movies, and then like I've was, seen Prometheus. I, was how was Prometheus? I still haven't seen it because the last <laughs> time I saw it, it was, when I tried mm-hmm. to watch it, it was like it had no audio, and then when it finally got audio, then the the footage started like, clipping oh, for some sucks. reason. Like um, this guy, how was a shitty? If you go into it thinking it's an Alien prequel, you are not gonna like it. No, no, no like I, I was just watching it like cool. Like mm-hmm. it was done. It was if you watch it, it as that its that own one thing, see. I want to see it. If you watch it as its own thing, then it's a fine movie. Like I liked it just fine. If you go into it thinking it's a pre- it, it, uh, as an alien prequel, you are going to be super disappointed. But why? I don't understand that. Because it's not an alien prequel. Why? It, from what it looks like, it does seem to be like a. Is it? Because before uh, Alien, right? It's in the same universe, so you guys can see what the space jockeys are. But there is no real reference to Alien. At oh, that's that's probably fine with me because the way mm-hmm. I understood it was, cool. This is about the species that created Alien, the aliens, the xenomorphs, and humans, and all these other things. The engineers. Yeah. So and I was, I was literally, really yeah, in that's that. what that movie is. That's what that movie is. Yeah. Okay. You can no, see, I'm like, cool with that. Yeah, you can see like the precursor to the xenomorphs, but it's not like it's literally not an Alien movie. That's I was fine. My previous okay. comment. The name of this podcast is Movies, Movies, and Porn. <laughs> okay, sure. Tumblr, Movies, movies and Porn. Tumblr, Movies, and Porn. Yeah, that's the title of this episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've, oh, so I've seen Prometheus because I've been invested in like the Alien franchise. Yeah, I want to watch it. I want to watch that one and the, um, the new Alien, Alien's Covenant, which I heard uh, Alien Covenant, yeah. wasn't great, but I thought the aliens that I saw from it looked really cool, so I want to see it. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen that, but uh, I'll probably watch it eventually yeah, like, we'll, on YouTube. We'll, we can watch it when you, whenever you come visit. That too. So yeah, so I guess the moral here is that like, if you, if I was introduced to it as a kid, it's really hard for me to get into it now. I just don't like starting new shit, mm-hmm. I guess. Fair enough. I'm like that with anime sometimes. You know? Anime, like, anime is all I watch, pretty much. So like, I'm fine with that. He's but, up like, to <laughs> I mean, yeah, so like, I guess if if I were to replace anime with something, it'll probably be movies. So I'll probably like watch a new movie a day or something. But I don't do that. Instead, I watch anime. <laughs> like I said, if you guys can drag me out of the house, sure. This is how we do. We, we definitely will. Yeah, kind of hard now, but yeah. It's okay. It's you'll, you'll come visit soon. Yeah, I know. But uh, yeah, it's 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 hard for me to do anything in my house just because like I just don't want to do anything. <laughs> Live. Have you been in my house before? Yeah, it's just like I just live in my room, but like when yeah, I'm in my room, twice. I'm just gonna be like fucking. I'm gonna play video games, and then when I'm laying down, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna watch anime. To the video yeah. game. So yeah, I don't really do much, and this is kind of like a sad note to end this. I guess <laughs> I don't do much. He's terrible. It's okay, Chris. We're working on getting your life and watching. Your movies. I have a life. I'm happy with my life. What about the Power Rangers? <laughs> I've seen. The new I've movie? seen the Power Rangers movie. Wait, wait. Which which movie? Oh, I was going so the classic. The latest one or the classic ones? Either or. I've seen the classic ones, like the ones with Ivan on Vanus. 
How long have you been going, lady? We've been going for about 59 minutes and about 55 seconds. Okay, yeah. I've seen the one with, like, Ivan Vanus and the badass intro that they had in that movie. Well, they're all skydiving and shit. That was pretty cool. And I can play and I can play the Power Rangers theme song on my guitar. <laughs> the I'm not surprised about that. Somehow that makes sense for you. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about it. Like, Have you guys seen that that Jimmy Neutron um the meme? Movie? I hate uh-huh. the movie. Not the movie, the meme. I I'm gonna be um, honest. I I freaking did not like Jimmy Neutron like ever. You'd never like Jimmy Neutron. Uh, the animation was weird. I like the show, I, but the animation was I looked at it and I'm just like... It's already 3D, right? It bothered I looked at it. You don't like the brain blast? No. <laughs> I wa- <laughs> Insulted. I watched the... I, like, I've seen, like, I've seen clips in the movie, and I'm like, yeah, this looks stupid. And then I was like, wow, they made that stupid thing a TV show? All right. Yeah, they And did. I never watched the show. And then the only parts of Jimmy Neutron I've ever seen were, like, the crossovers with Fairly Odd Parents. Those are... I prefer that just because... I like the Fairly Odd Parents art style. Jimmy mm-hmm. Neutron, I never liked the art style. It bothered me. But never the show was actually it. pretty okay. And I was just like, this is stupid. And then uh, I think <laughs> this is weird, but I was playing Resident Evil 4, and the voice actor actress for Ashley is the chick from uh, Jimmy Neutron, like that main bully chick or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, Cindy? Yeah. So <laughs> every time I play that game, I'm just like, hey, look, it's Cindy. <laughs> it's the same voice. That's funny. like exact same voice and everything. It's, yeah, it's the same voice. You know that happened to me when I was watching regular show when they mm-hmm. first introduced Thomas, and I'm like, "Holy shit, it's Sonic!" Of course, it's Sonic. It's the same voice actor. Yo, who's getting smashed today or tonight or tomorrow? I'm getting. I'm uh, getting I can tell you two people who are getting smashed that maybe you want to smash with <laughs> in non in a non sexual way. What the okay. fuck? <laughs> I don't uh, know what you guys are talking about, but I'm definitely smashing. Uh, who am I smashing? Uh, Rob. Okay. Mm-hmm. And Ines. Mm-hmm. They're both getting, uh, they both have a Switch, and they're both getting smashed today. Alright, cool. So you want... I'll smash them. <laughs> Can I join? Can I watch? <laughs> <laughs> Do you I'll have a Switch you. yet? Me? Yeah. No. He's, All right, he's, get a Switch he's got the game, though. He asked you for one, like, last week. Yeah, I, I know. One, like, last week. I wasn't going to give you one. I'll say, hey, Chris, for my birthday, you want to get me a Switch? No, I'll take you out. I don't, I'll yeah. Pay for you. Yeah, I'll pay for the I'll, meal. I'll just, I'll just buy enough food to e- equal the, the, the price of a Switch. <laughs> that's, sure. not, that's also not going to happen. You're not Mario. You that's don't need that much. We yeah, you don't. I, I mean, freaking, we went to uh, to a birthday party like last week. You couldn't even eat like all of that. What the fuck well, because you... I ate before. Why'd you do that? Cause he's because he's an idiot. I, I honestly thought I would have digested the food a lot earlier. Because he's an idiot. Uh, well, he's an idiot. On another note, since we are coming near the end of the podcast, uh, most this is mostly I guess for Bradley because Chris and Lady have not done really anything for it, but Bradley and I did a bit. And we're gonna do some stuff with Rob and Judy and later on Bradley, which I'll tell you about later. Uh, so we did change our name from Spooky Goobers on YouTube and our Twitch channel to now Midnight Faction. I did see that. Yes, and we are actually going to be putting out videos more consistently on Midnight Faction. I think we're doing, what, Fallout? We're putting Fallout 76 stuff on Midnight Faction. Uh, speaking of that, Chris, what kind of playstyle do you, do you do? For not like not, No, not what kind of playstyle you do in the game. What kind of playstyle do you do in life? Do I do in what? And you cut out. Do, what kind of what kind of play style do you do in life? In life. In life. What the fuck does that mean? What, is, what the fuck does that mean? All right, you're a ninja. Okay, because my play style in life is be lazy and just sit in my room. So you use fat man's. Oh uh, God. sure. All right. He's being dumb. He's explosive. Okay, we're my making a actual... full explosive character just for Chris. No. Okay, because my actual play style in in the Fallout games depends on the game. Seventy six. In 76, I play mostly stealthy. Four. So, in four, I was Iron Man. <laughs> three? Three. Uh, three, I mainly used ballistic weapons and kind of just charged in. I didn't give a fuck about stealth at all or anything. I just kind of ran in and started shooting things. 
and then New Vegas. And New Vegas was kind of a mix between stealth gameplay and explosives. So, like, if shit hit the fan, I just start throwing dynamite. Fair enough. That's actually what how I started out in New Vegas, and then I moved over to sneak. Because my yeah. style right now in seventy six is uh, I'm, I'm just a straight up sniper. Yeah, because in seventy six they you really need to conserve your ammo and your and all that. Yeah, they they messed with the they actually did a patch recently where they messed with the sneak criticals now. So now mm-hmm. sneak criticals do less damage overall because some weapons will will be doing OP the amount of sneak criticals. Yeah, which I don't I think that was a bad way of doing it, but hopefully they'll fix it to at least tone down specific weapons rather than just uh full or specific weapon types rather than just all sneak mm-hmm. criticals. Uh, but yeah, we were trying to think of like what way to do it. Were we gonna go like the stereotypical since you're Ling Ling Chris on that character? Do we mm-hmm. make you a basically a ninja since you're Asian and okay. having like no, uh, I didn't get that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just, I just had to point out just in case, in case anyone's listening <laughs> and I wasn't sure. Um, okay. <laughs> and we just say, like, all right, cool. Here's some knives and maybe some some throwing weapons like a tomahawk or throwing knives and shit. Go for it. So is anything that, or just be completely absurd? And since you're Ling Ling Chris Asian, mm-hmm. you are going to be using only revolvers, a cowboy hat, and maybe the the lever action rifle, and maybe some okay. weapons. Why not like give me a Chinese sword and like armor and just run in? There you go. You are a samurai. Are there Chinese swords? I haven't. There found are Chinese swords in there. I have yeah. not found a Chinese officer sword yet. There I found a Chinese officer sword. I need to find. I I think I just found a decent a decent uh revolutionary sword because every other one i found was shit mm-hmm. like, cool this is this is uh le- better than the one i have so i'll, I'll take it yeah uh, cool so, now i know yeah, we're making that. chris a samurai all right yeah my my gameplay in fallout 4 was literally i am in a power armor suit forever and i use only energy weapons yeah i i do the same thing i use things my i might play through from every follows kind of the same from uh mm-hmm. sneak from new vegas to four and the little bit i paid of three was i am a stealthy energy weapon user or plasma weapon user depending on what okay. you want to get at the time so I was like, all right cool Just far as fuck away sniping so, with I'm, a laser rifle yeah i have a question for a lady what? uh how difficult would it be to put this on youtube on itunes oh my gosh <laughs> i'll tell you later Go, let's end the stream first but it's an entire hassle of an issue. Okay. Yeah. Because I think it would be better. It would help. Yeah, trust me. It would help. I know. Okay, you want to end right. this? All right. Uh, goodbye, on, everybody. On that note, we'll end it. Follow Bye. Midnight Faction. Well, get, get out. Get out. Get the f*** out. Bye-bye. But, but as you get out, make sure to follow Midnight Faction on YouTube and Twitch. Yeah. Janet. Tell us tell us what we should All play. Right. Goodbye. You might, maybe you'll find some of us there. Goodbye. Bye, boys. Why are you guys sound so sad? Cause Everybody's I am. Saying goodbye. He's not I'm saying we gotta go. Bye. Bye. Just, just turn bye. it off already. Bye.